This is glue that was on. Please come and give your testimony. This is Gloria Ozor. Let's clap for Jesus while he comes. He comes. God bless you. Please, you will give us your names, your state, and then you will state your testimony to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Reverend, praise the Lord. See it said power. See it said. My name is Mrs. Gloria Ozo. I am from Delta State. The person close by, uh, standing beside me is my mom, Mrs. Rose, Romina Oz, uh, Ogegbulem. She's from Lagos State. Praise the Lord, Church. I came to testify because of my mom right here. One faithful Thursday, I was in the church. I came for prayer. And daddy was praying for people and he located me. When he was praying for me, after the prayer, I went to my seat. I saw 20-something missed call from my dad. Immediately, I ran out. I went to pick the I went to call back and tell him what happened. I mean, I'm in the church. Hope everything is all right. He said, My mom, she's not fine that she's in hospital. They want to cut off her leg. That I should call or quickly go to Lagos. I ran back. My instinct, everything about me changed. Daddy located me again and said, My daughter, what happened? I said, my mom, her leg is getting rotting. They said they want to cut it off. Daddy prayed through the phone. And he said, call your mom. I called immediately. And my uh, the daddy started speaking the word of life in my mom's leg. And they couldn't cut off the leg. Praise the Lord. The leg started getting wide. Started getting wide. Every day the leg is getting wide. It's bringing out water and pus. She went to operation and I said, no, daddy said they cannot cut this leg. You, you, you are not born by leg that is not complete. You are a complete woman. I have come to the church that will save us. I am not going to accept for them to cut your leg. Praise the Lord. And daddy prayed. Praise the Lord, brethren. There is power in this church. If you know what you are doing, face him. God is here. Praise the Lord. Now you know everything gets dried. I couldn't go. I was just calling through phone. This is a wonderful testimony. But before she continues with her testimony, let us watch how her mother was prayed for by the Son of Man. Did I call you? Your own daddy. Father. Call you yes, sir. eleven missed call. Just now. Go and call your father. Daddy, call her now. Eleven missed call. Where's your mom? Sorry. Where's is she with him? Which day? Where's your wife, Daddy? Who can come from there? Who can come from there? Okay, answer your mom. Is that your mom? Mama? Hello? If you pick, you let me know. Mama? How are you? I want to pray for you. Hold it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow shot at you. Out. Out. Place your hand on your chest. Every 
every arrow is shot at you. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your phone in your mouth and open your mouth. Have you put it to your mouth? Then open it. Open your mouth. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. I am son of man. In the name of my God, be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Memorize your body now. I your body. Take. She will not die. Everything about her leg got dried, and I told her, Start coming to see the place you are here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. You are all a blessed in Jesus' name. I thank God we serve. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. He's excellent God. He's unstoppable God. Hmm. It was a great day like this. My daughter called me. Even before she called me, I was already crying. I paused to cry because the pain was much. They'll do the operation first one. Second one, and they are still telling me that this leg they don't know what to do because of sugar level. I said, I don't care to know the disease, I don't care to know the attack. All I know, I stand upon the rock of ages that never break. I begin to pray, and our daddy in the law pray along with me. Since that day, I continuously change this. Let's talk for Jesus for that. <laughs> Mommy, please, what is your advice for those who have the same cases or that have the same problem? What is your advice I, I for met, them? I met some of them in the hospital. They cut up their leg. They could not able to, to survive. Some are dead. Some today. Are, even you cannot near the room they are. Because of God we serve. Go hear me perfectly. I say I will not eat this testimony. It's a great call. I don't know how much it costs for me to be in this place. When I prepare it to come, then there is no fuel in Lagos State. Even till now, as I'm telling you, no vehicle. I say it's a lie. Devil. You can't stop me. I am unstoppable. Let's clap for Jesus for that. <laughs> Mommy, Sir. we just thank God for your life and the testimony. We pray that God will heal you permanently. Amen. All the way from Lagos, she has to come and give testimony to God. Because according to her, as she has just said, it says so many people, their legs were cut and they died in the process. And that there were a lot of problems. But she believed that her leg would not be cut. And right on phone, we pray for her. And God answer our prayer, all of us. So we thank you, mommy. God will bless you. I pray for permanent healing Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Swear with you. Thank you. God bless you. Call plus 234. 803-846. 3326 to book an appointment with the Son of Man today.